So guys, I did it. I hit my 100 pound weight loss target. It's been a long and challenging road and I've had a huge amount of questions. A lot of people asking the same questions and rather than trying to reply to everyone, I thought we will focus on, well, I'm gonna allow Liz to pick the most popular questions and try and answer them here for you. Now you're in great shape, are you going to shave? <laughs> is that my opening question? Yeah, that's the most important uh, question. Right now, the beard is staying. I don't think they mean your beard. Oh, the body hair. I don't know, the actually. The body hair. You know, there's a lot of questions about the body hair. There's a lot of people out there. They're offended. They're offended. Well, the first thing is, my wife likes the body hair. I'm a man. I'm hairy. The upkeep of shaving that would just be... <laughs> we back in the same day. Yeah. I... There'll probably be odd times where I kind of get rid of it, especially in hotter kind of climates and stuff like that. But I've lost weight and it's cold now. Have you seen how cold it is in the UK right now? That hair is staying. Have you noticed it's men, always men that comment about the body hair, not women? Funny thing is, because I, I get this a lot whenever I post a topless photo, people are always, oh, you're so hairy. What are you going to shave, man? Women will hate that, blah, blah, blah. Do you know what? 70% of the women like it. I'm yes. not going to lie. I don't know. I did a... Want I did a, um, a poll once because I was getting paranoid. I was like, Jesus, maybe I should be shaving it. But more people seem to like it than not. But yeah, you get some men that just don't like me being hairy. It's very strange. Do you suffer from overeating? How did that affect your journey? Oh, yeah. I've always suffered with... Suffered is the wrong word. I've always struggled with food from a very young age. So as a teenager, I put on a lot of weight. My parents went through some issues. I, you know, was homeless for a while. And there was just a lot of kind of things going on in my life that made me turn to something for comfort. And that thing that I turned to was food. Ended up overeating from a young age. Found strongman and I was like, ah, oh, I can kind of put this overeating to um, my advantage a little bit. And obviously, you know, being a strongman, in some events particularly, body mass is advantageous. In others, it's not so useful as well. You know, I, I don't want to sit here and say, yeah, just being bigger is better because that's not the, the truth at all. But my personal experience, I was overweight, I was overeating, ended up kind of using sport as a way to try and kind of control that a little bit. Um, and then when I ended up getting injured at World's Strongest Man 2019, I was in a very, very low place. And any time I've got low in my life, I've sort of suffered with turning to food, just binge eating, eating a load of crap and not controlling myself. And yeah, I, I ended up kind of, you know, portion sizes go out the window. I could kind of just eat through boredom and, you know, I hated myself for it at the same time, but that that mental side can be very very difficult how long has it taken you to lose 100 pounds um it's not been a quick fix at all start to finish about two years it's been up and down in that time it's not been kind of just a you know a, a perfectly progressional line i've had times where you know i've dropped a, a good amount and then it's kind of gone up a little bit come back down it's it's been about progress over a long period of time and it's always been the goal for me i never wanted this to be a 12-week transformation some kind of you know quick fix there's been a lot of trying to change my relationship with food that's been a very big factor and i said from day one i have no interest i, I know a lot of people will be watching say so you're not anywhere near it but i have no interest in doing bodybuilding my sole focus of this was health fitness and developing a much better mental relationship with food, which means I should be allowed to eat things that I like. It's not been putting me in a restrictive kind of terrible diet that I hate. I eat foods that I like. I eat chocolate almost every day. I uh, will go through probably the diet a bit more specifically in a second, but it's been slow and steady progress. And I think that's what's been really key, not to, to rush. I've, I've tried to make sure this is kind of lifestyle changes and things that I can maintain for forever, really. Would you lose the weight slower if you could do it again? Uh, interesting question, as I feel it's been pretty slow um, <laughs> as it has. Maybe, I, I have had some people kind of see me and say, wow, you've lost loads of weight. I've done it very slowly. It's not been a quick fix at all. How many calories were you consuming on an average day before and how many are you consuming now? 
The funny thing is that the start, the, the the previous picture was me in a terrible state after finishing Strongman. My Strongman career, I was normally between 150 to 165 kilos. I got to 170 after retiring, being sat on my sofa, miserable and depressed. And I wasn't tracking calories, but I, I don't know. It was probably somewhere between six and 8,000 calories. But it would have been different each day, you know? For Some people may be able to relate. I might be good for three days, and then eat a load of crap on the weekend and, you know, blow it all out the window. It was very sporadic. It was a bad relationship with food. I might try and starve myself for a few days and then, you know, just binge eat, uh, have a, a pizza to myself, a tub of Ben and Jerry's ice cream, uh, a tub of Pringles, you know, I could, I could eat some crap, I tell you. <laughs> How many meals are you eating a day and what are your meals like? On average, it's between four and five meals, normally with a snack or a pre-workout snack. Um, but, but normally probably four solid meals, a pre-workout snack and like a little snack um, before bed. My diet does change. It's not like always the same, but... My nutritionist that I work with now tends to, to send me a plan and as long as things are going well, as long as I'm happy with the foods, we don't tend to change it that much. A standard plan for me in a day would involve waking up, having about 100 grams of oats, uh, 300 ml of semi-skim milk, scoop of whey protein. Next meal would be maybe mince, pasta, so pasta and pasta sauce. Then I may have like a steak and potatoes type meal. Before training, I would have some kind of carbs like a bagel and jam or like a squares bar. After training would be normally like my evening meal, which normally would be like steak and rice. I, I try and kind of just have foods that I enjoy and I try and make them in a certain way so they taste nice. I, I try to replace certain meals. So like I used to like a, a bacon and egg sandwich. So now rather than having a kind of greasy fried bacon and egg sandwich on white bread, I'll use a wholemeal thin, which is about 100 calories. I'll have uh, turkey bacon instead of normal bacon and you know calorie value is so much lower than it was before still yummy still tastes good so just trying to replace certain foods that i used to like still be able to have them but in a much lower calorie way has the mirror become your best friend now that you've lost all this weight and me and the mirror like each other more than we used to <laughs> what's been the hardest part about the journey understanding that things take time i think we can always look at ourselves and people will tell me I'm looking better and yet in my head I'm focusing on the worst parts. I think as individuals we tend to look at our worst features and I'm trying to kind of improve that side of me and, and try to focus more on things that I like seeing in the mirror rather than what I don't like. Did you gain, lose or maintain strength? Without question I have lost strength. Now this is for a number of factors. The main one being, I haven't trained for strength. Um, that is probably the main factor. My training has been very much focused on getting fitter and losing body weight whilst trying to maintain as much muscle as I can. I would guess that my strength is around 20 to 25% down on my absolute best. And going forward from January, I plan on trying to get back to within 90% of my strongest being a lighter body weight. I have to accept that I'm, it's, it's very, very unlikely I'm ever gonna get to the, the top end strength levels. There's certain things I might be better at in strongman because strongman isn't just about top end kind of power, if you like. So maybe like shield carries, medleys, moving, I could actually be better at, at lighter weight. But things like deadlifting, bench pressing, squatting, overhead pressing, those type of numbers have, uh, obviously dropped quite substantially in the time frame. Is it possible to retain so much muscle without TRT? Another factor uh, to my strength being down is I am currently on TRT, which means I am doing 125 milligrams of test a week. It's as you get older, you can have natural testosterone levels drop anyway, and it allows me to keep those levels higher, which allows me to have a little bit more energy. It allows me to maintain a bit more muscle mass. And generally at my age, feel better in myself. I feel good. I get my blood done very regularly. And, uh, I, you know, there was a time I was using more than just that. And that would have been a contributing factor to being stronger. 
My goals are different now. I'm focusing more on feeling good and I just want to try and hold on to as much muscle as possible. But I still have lost muscle mass as well during this uh, calorie restriction and body weight transformation. What are your goals for the Masters next year? So I'm going to do the British Masters in Strongman. I'm going to do a push-pull powerlifting competition. I'm going to have a crack at the Dinny Stone world record once again. And I'm going to compete in the World Masters at the end of the year. I want to make it clear, I'm not trying to be a pro strongman anymore. So my focus is enjoying training and doing it for fun. I still plan on doing as well as I can. Like I said to you guys earlier, I want to try and get within 90% of my all-time best and try and focus on being as well-rounded an athlete as I can as possible. One thing a lot of people kind of don't understand with strongman is they think it, the name is dist- is kind of confusing. You think world's strongest man, you think it's about being a big beast. But in strongman, you look at competitions, probably only two events where you need really brute strength. The rest of them, you need a decent level of strength with good fitness, good speed, good technique, etc., etc. So it's about being a strength athlete. And I'm trying to make sure I'm going to be as well-rounded as possible as an athlete. Um, but my focus isn't trying to be a pro strongman anymore. So it's still, you know, having a life, enjoying my training, feeling fitter and lighter. I do not plan on getting big again. I will set myself a, a kind of top end weight of about 130 kilos. I plan on doing the powerlifting comp under 125 kilos. And I want to try and remain a little bit fitter, a little bit smaller. And I still plan on trying to get leaner than I am currently. Does it bother you that your strength is down? Do you know what? At one point, yes, it did. And originally, my strength dropped quite quite a bit, to be quite honest. I would say since the, the last kind of five to six months... I've actually started seeing my, my kind of body has got used to being lighter and I'm actually seeing my strength slowly start going back up now. So that's been nice. My fitness going up um, whilst my strength came down was a really motivating factor because I started to feel so much better in myself. I started to push myself harder on those challenges knowing that the strength was down. So that really helped just trying to find, find a focus on something different because then I could still work as hard as before probably harder than I was working before and see progress. Sometimes when you're kind of, you're doing something and you kind of see what you've spent your whole life training for and those kind of levels coming down, it can be quite a a mental challenge. What does your training split look like and how much cardio are you doing? So I'm doing a lot more cardio than I used to um, just because I've, I've got to a point where I enjoy it. It was weird. At first, I really didn't like it. But that improvement has come over time. So originally, at my biggest, 170 kilos, I was struggling to walk 100 meters. It sucked. I was not a fit, healthy man. I was in a bad place mentally. So I decided I would start simple, just walking. So I would use the the backwards walking as a warm up for a lot of my training and I'd do five minutes. And then I developed to, to 10 minutes and I'd try and push to 15 minutes. And it got to a point where I can do an hour cardio now and not even think about it. I I tend to just go to the gym. Before my training partners get there, I'll jump on some bit of cardio machine and I'll just go. I'll put my headphones in, start replying to my clients uh, as a bit of a distraction, and I'll just kind of get get a sweat on. And I got to the point now, I've done hour and a half cardio sessions, and I, I don't bat an eyelid. My fitness has improved so much, just slowly by improving those kind of things week on week. And it, it's amazing how you can go from being so unfit to, to really developing decent levels of fitness. I won't say I'm kind of like super fit or anything, but quite honestly, my fitness isn't bad at all. I've done 2000 meters on a ski erg in seven minutes and one second. I can do 500 meters on a rower in in one minute 15. Um, I can walk all day long now. It doesn't bother me at all. We take the kids out for a day out and I can walk all day, no bother at all. Whereas when I was competing in strongman, I used to dread days like that. I try and make sure every single day I get a certain amount of steps in, which you know is a minimum of 10,000. Doing strongman, I would drive everywhere. It's interesting how I've changed that mentality and I actually enjoy feeling fitter. It's a much nicer feeling. And now because I do enjoy feeling so much fitter, I wouldn't want to go back to, to how it felt before. Are you getting that ice cream cake for your 40th? I really hope so. I absolutely love ice cream. And if Liz doesn't get me an ice cream cake, there will be hell to pay. 
I just want to say thank you so much to everyone that supported me along this journey. You know, whether it's just a comment, family members, friends that have kept me motivated. It's not been easy. There's been lots of ups and downs. Um, but like I said, it's been about changing lifestyle traits and habits. I feel in a very good place mentally these days. Feeling physically fitter is really good for me. Um, thank you everyone that's interested. If you have questions and you'd like to ask below, please do so. I will try and get back to you as soon as I can. If you're interested in coaching, check out the links below. And don't forget, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Take care, guys. Mm -hmm.